So this is it. We've reached the end. Hey guys, welcome back to the Minimalist Bujo Challenge for the last time. This is day 30 of 30 and it has been quite a ride. Um, yeah, thank you to, to everybody who has watched any of these, um, especially the people who comment and just make this feel like more of a um, mutual thing. It's been really great to, you know, get to chat with some of you in the comments and I really uh, appreciate your support and I hope you stick around uh, as I continue on, you know, after this. I, I make other kinds of videos too, though sometimes this month it definitely doesn't feel like it. I, it's going to be weird. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at Friday. I got most of the stuff done. I feel like I might just blow this off. I was trying to explain my relationship with this task yesterday. Um, mostly I just don't feel like it and it's kind of low on my priorities. So I think, you know what? Forget it. I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna cross it off because I do want to get it done eventually. But let me double check here. All right, all right guys, here, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. I'm gonna write it in here channel trailer and put a dot next to it and that means it's gonna get done eventually because I have a reminder so that is my notebook for October um, look forward to the video for that on the 5th next Thursday so yes moving that back and putting a schedule because uh, I guess because it's not moving forward I never really understood the difference between scheduled and migrated and I mostly just sort of point it in the direction in the book it's going. Um, anyway, and then this will get done before bed. But other than that, uh, did pretty well with my Friday and we just have the one more day to set up. Saturday, September 30th. And I don't really have a lot of tasks for this day. Um, let me show you the weekly spread here move purses um i just I, i'm tired of the purse i'm in and i want to move into another one uh, it can be probably smaller because i'm gonna have a smaller planner so there's that right, great uh and chart i have to move all of the stuff from my habit tracker onto a different piece of paper great this is the end of the month and i won't have this in front of me all the time so i want to make sure that all of the data from this gets to where it belongs so that it doesn't get lost, you know? It basically gets archived properly. Um, but yeah, so guys, look at this. Uh, uh, look, uh, here, I did it, I finished my book. I, it didn't look good at the beginning down here at the 15th when I was on chapter three, but since then I have read a chapter almost every single day and I got through it and I'm done and it's done. I'm glad I finished reading it. I'm glad I, Got my goal, you know, completing a goal is great, even if I'm not sure how I feel about the um, the book in general. I will probably get to that some more in my October setup video. And I may, I may do a, a, what's it called? A review of the book. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do a review of the book as a book, but I think at some point, maybe in about a month, once I've started to use the, what I've learned a little bit, I will try to review the system as a system. Sorry back to what I was talking about. If you haven't been following me, I've been reading Getting Things Done this month. Um, this is the book that like everybody in the planner community has like read and loved. It's probably a hyperbole. I think there's probably some people who are not a fan and I could get into that in a review, um, but I've got, gleaned some useful information that I'm going to be incorporating into my planner for next month. And I think only time will tell whether it's gonna work for me. Um, and so I'm going to do, I think, a review of this system, like maybe in November, um, after I've used it for a while to kind of give you a better idea. Cause I could tell you right now, like, like, I don't think I have all of the content I would need to do a full video review of the book itself. I'll just say that like the writing style seemed to focus too much on a, this system is amazing and it works so great. And I am such a wonderful person for coming up with it. And you should really be bringing your home, your work home with you because if you're not focusing on your career, then like you're a slacker. And those are the two things I kept getting out of it, which I know it's not written to be giving that impression, but that's what I kept hearing. And I was like, well, first of all, like F you, like I 
work eight to five and I go home and I have a fulfilling life and my planner system for work is completely separate. That's not who I am. And I'm going to go off on a rant because I really believe in a strong work uh, life balance. <laughs> That's not the point. Not the point. All right. This was not going to be a review video. I'm going to get back to planning my Saturday. The book is done though. I'm glad I got to read it. I'm glad I got it off from the horse's mouth and I am excited to try some of the systems that he puts forth and let's take a look at our Saturday. So the big things tomorrow, here I'm going to put the novena before I forget that. Day nine of the novena means it's the last day. So I won't have to worry about migrating that to anywhere. And uh, we're going to or no, also to move everything from my habit tracker. Uh, migrate habits. Because like I said, um, all of the information from this tracker, this part here, needs to be migrated somewhere else. And all of the information from this spread needs to be migrated somewhere else. I kind of explained when I set it up, that this spread was really just a placeholder for a more colorful spread that I have used before. Uh, this one in which I will be using again in my new setup so I filled all of this out but nothing from September because it's all here in black and white because uh, I didn't want to use colors this month just because that's really the thing that um, it's kind of a pain when you have to like sit down and do it at your desk but it's so pretty that I think I'm gonna try to go back to it so I have to migrate all of that so that's great but the thing we're doing tomorrow that's going to take up most of our day is we're going to the auto show. We live really close to the Anaheim Convention Center. So it's like very convenient for us. And my husband's interested in checking out a, uh, an electric car potentially uh, to make his commute a little bit more bearable. So we're going to that because we can get free tickets. And then we're going to Saturday evening Mass and Rosary with the Knights of Columbus, which is like the most Catholic sentence ever. And then after that, we'll probably go out to dinner with them. And I believe that is everything I had written out on my calendar. Yes. So these are the only tasks and they're pretty small uh, because I both mostly want to just spend my weekend just focusing on the events that we're going to and just spending some time with my husband because they have the house to ourselves this weekend because my in-laws are at a wedding out of town. And uh, yeah, this, this video is getting really rambly and I apologize for that if it bothers you. Um, I'm not always this rambly. <laughs> Uh, so this spread here, you'll notice I used last night when I was planning some um, food stuff. I don't usually do a lot of the cooking in the household because, as mentioned, I live with my in-laws and my father-in-law likes to cook a lot, so I don't get to cook very often, and so meal planning isn't something that I incorporate into my planner system. And it would be if I had my own place and was in charge of the menu. So I'm in charge of the menu for this weekend. <laughs> So I've sort of planned out a little bit of something and I had to make a grocery run today. So that's what's here. And that is pretty much it. So a couple things here on this column. I think I've migrated all of them except for this one. I think I need to talk to Gino about that. And yeah, like I don't want this video to end because that means that the series is over. It's been really great, guys. I really do appreciate everyone who's been watching. I know I keep saying that, um, but you know, you've made this so much more fun and it's gonna be weird to not film a video tomorrow night because I've gotten into the habit of this, but hopefully that means that I will um, not find my production schedule going forward to be overwhelming because you know, it's only three a week, even though they'll probably require a little bit more prep than just sitting down and planning in front of a camera. But um, yeah, so coming up uh, on Monday will be my Sims video. I, I'm doing a Sims 2 uh, Let's Play series, and I know that a lot of you are not interested in that, but that's what I'm doing with my Mondays. So that's the video on Monday, and then on Thursday is when I do my main planner videos, and so that's where I will be showing you my October setup 
Uh, I've been keeping it kind of under wraps because I, I, it's so beautiful and I really want to show it to you, but I want to do all of that and do it justice in its own video. So that will be on Thursday the 5th. And then um, on Saturday, I think I'm just going to sort of vlog and kind of show you my face. I haven't shown you my face in too long, so look forward to that. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you somehow haven't already. I think most of the people who are watching these videos are my loyal subscribers and I love you guys to death awesome it's been really great just seeing like the same number of views every day because it just makes me feel so supported and loved and i don't know most of your names but those of you that i have talked to in the comments know that you know i love you very much okay thank you guys for tuning in uh the playlist is linked at the end of this video if you missed any of them you can go back and look and see there has been a lot of repetition so if you watch all of them in sequence, you'll probably notice me saying the same things over and over again because I never know who's watching or who might have missed something important, like the book I was talking about. Anyway, I'm going to say thank you one last time and then I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>